Okay, hi guys, welcome back to another Sunday. Man, a week goes by really fast for me. I don't know about you guys. So today we are going to start off again with um, learning the New Testament through our song. And we're going to now then worship our God by singing it out to him. So if you're at home right now, I encourage you to get off of the couch or off of wherever you're sitting and stand up and give God all the praise that he deserves today. And then I'll see you back here in a second.
So today we're going to learn another fruit of the Spirit and how it can help us in our lives. Check out this video and then I'll be back in a minute to finish off with you. Welcome boys and girls, it is a church time. I am here to help you learn all about the fruits of the Spirit. Let's find out what fruit we are learning about today. Now, on the count of three, say, show me the fruit. Ready? One, a two, a three. Show me the fruit. Wow. Today we are learning about the fruit, joy. Now I know all about joy. I have a very good friend named Joy. Here she is. Hmm. You know, she doesn't look like a fruit. Oh, but sometimes she wears a purple shirt and purple pants. That's kind of like a grape. That must be it. Okay, so everyone go and get a friend named Joy that wears purple like a grape so you can have the fruit of the spirit, Joy, in your life. Oh, and if your name is Joy, Congratulations! You are a fruit of the spirit. Just go and go get some purple clothes. Oh, uh, Chef Luigi, there you are. I was looking for you in the kitchen. W what are you doing? Oh, hey, Miss Nikki. I was just telling the kids about the fruit of the spirit we are learning about today. Our three told us it was joy. You were? Yes, we covered it all. Finding a friend named Joy, purple pants, purple shirts, everything. They are fully prepared to go out and to have the fruit of the spirit, Joy. Some of them are even named Joy, like that girl right there. Oh, and that one, she's wearing purple. Way to be Joy, way to be. Wait, 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 wait. Um, Chef Luigi, I appreciate you starting our lesson, but that's not what it means when we talk about the fruit of the spirit, Joy. Wait, it's not? Oh, mamma mia. Sorry to all you named Joy out there, but your name is still really cool. Well, what does it mean to have joy as the fruit of the spirit then? Oh, I, I know what it is. It's talking about a Chick-fil-A sandwich. They are so good. And realizing they accidentally gave you an extra pickle, is that joy? Uh, well, not exactly, but that is really awesome when there's an extra pickle on your Chick-fil-A sandwich. What you're describing is being happy. Joy and being happy actually get confused a lot, but joy is different than being happy. You see, things outside of us can make us happy. Toys, stuff, ice cream, but that all fades after some time passes. Feeling happy can go away when something not so happy happens to us. For example, let's say you just got a brand new iPhone for your birthday. You are so excited and happy, but then you accidentally knock it off the kitchen table and your screen shatters. Ay, mamma mia. Yeah, yikes. What do you think happens to that happy feeling you were feeling earlier when you got your new phone? Hasta la pasta, happy feelings. Hello, sad, cracked screen feelings. Exactly. Feeling happy is completely based on your circumstances. It's based on what's going on around you. But joy is something that doesn't go away. It's deep inside of us. Even when things are hard and even when things don't seem to be going our way. Oh, I get that now. But what makes us to be able to be joyful? You know, I know a great Bible verse that can help us understand why we can have joy. Let's check out this verse in Nehemiah 8:10. It says, the joy that the Lord gives you will make you strong. This is talking about the joy that comes from God. We're filled with joy because it's a fruit of the spirit. It gives us strength to be joyful when the circumstances around us are hard. We're filled with joy because we're God's kids. Wow. That is so awesome. So only God can give us that kind of joy? Yes. You know what? I think I have a great idea to show us what it looks like to have the fruit of the spirit joy. Let's go to the kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. 
Ah, I love the kitchen. Miss and Nikki, what are we doing in here? How are we going to learn about joy in here? Is there a joy fruit? Uh, no, Chef Luigi, there isn't a joy fruit, but I do have something that will help us see what it looks like to have joy inside of us. I've got this soda right here. Do you guys like soda? Me too. This soda is gonna represent us. Everyone say us. Us. Nice. And right here, I've got some Mentos. These are going to represent the fruit of the spirit, joy. Everyone say joy. Joy. And right here, I've got a mint. This is gonna represent happiness. Everyone say happiness. Happiness. Sweet. Okay, so soda's us, Mentos is joy, mint is happiness. Got it? Got it. Great. Now, we all go through hard things sometimes. We all face hard circumstances. Maybe our parents are fighting. Maybe someone we know is really sick and we don't know if they're gonna get better. Maybe there's a bully at school. Those are really hard situations. So let's say you have something like that going on. Let's see what happens if all we have inside of us is happiness. Wait, nothing is happening. Right. You see, when we have hard things going on around us, happiness doesn't do anything. It just goes away. But when we have the fruit of the spirit of joy in us, joy that comes from God, this isn't something that goes away because of our circumstances. It's something that we just can't keep inside because it overflows and it goes everywhere. It's awesome. It isn't something that we can keep inside. And when it does, it gets everywhere. It gets on other people too. And they experience that joy. Wow, there is joy all over the place. There is joy on the ceiling. Wow, um, yeah, there is. You see, when we have the fruit of the spirit of joy, it doesn't matter what we go through. We all go through hard things sometimes, but it does mean that no matter what is going on around you, it can't take that joy from you. You can have joy regardless of the circumstances around you. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, it's pretty fun the way they're explaining fruits of the spirit. So let's see if you guys can remember the difference between being happy and being joyful. So being happy is based on what? That's right, it's based on our circumstances and circumstances are what is going on around us, what's happening in my life right now. And that is saying, oh, I'm gonna be happy because um, I just got a new toy or I got some, I got an ice cream today or I'm gonna be happy because school went really, really well today and I, had, I felt like I had lots of friends today. But then when those things don't happen, you're not happy. So joy does not what? It does not go away like happiness does. It's something that's deep inside of us. And even when things are hard, are not going in our way, we still have that deep joy in our hearts. Um, so in that video, they talked about Nehemiah 8.10. And so what does Nehemiah 8.10 say that joy from God does for us? What does it do for us, everybody? That joy from God makes us strong. We are filled with joy because we are God's kids. So to have this kind of joy, we have to have Jesus in our hearts and we need to be close to him. And then he fills us up with the joy that we are his, that we are saved, that we're going to live with him forever, forever, that only our bodies will die one day, but we will live forever. That makes me feel really joyful that I know I'm going to see Jesus face to face one day. So remember that to be filled with true joy, you need to have Jesus in your heart and you need to follow him and spend time with him. So let's pray for the joy of the Lord that makes us strong today. Um, and then I, we're going to go to another worship song and spend some time with Jesus. Okay. And then I will see you guys again um, next week. All right. Thank you, Jesus, that you fill us up with joy and that true joy 
um, does not depend on what's happening in our lives. It depends on us having you in our hearts and us following you. And when we follow you, Jesus, we are filled with true joy that never goes away. So we pray, Lord, that you would help us to draw close to you and that you would fill us up with your joy this week. And that no matter what happens, we would have um, the, the strength and the peace that comes from the joy of the Lord in our hearts. Thank you, Jesus, for each and every um, child and adult watching. Bless them this week in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, guys. You never 
never stop working. We never stop.